What is hatching? Bucktooth Buckos. Old Man Sub coming at you today with the return of the Thunderdome. Um, y'all voted, and Yins are gonna get what you asked for. We are diving back into s Showdown. OU. We're bringing uh, one of our competitively created GBA teams. And I honestly have no idea where we're at on the ladder, so yeah, stuff and things. So I probably should have taken a look at this team to see which, uh, what we could do here. What's he going to lead with? And apparently this person thinks something is amazing. Apparently this person knows who Old Man Tup is. And is relatively impressed. So, yeah. Maybe this person will see themselves on Old Man Tup's channel. And maybe they'll absolutely destroy my team. Apparently this person does recognize my team, so bueno. Let's see what this guy's got. This guy has the general, who we're not really worried about, but is probably just going to... Is there a heal beller on this team? Probably uh, that thing. I don't know that that is going to want to hard switch into this, though. Just go for the prankster T-wave. It's the best move. He goes into Ampharos. Good for him. It will probably be the best play. Either that or, um... Sylveon. Yep, yeah, gonna go into this. So if this guy watches my matches, he is going to have a general idea of how I operate. Now this thing is going to Mega Up. And... Ground and Dragon. Not really going to be much of a threat overall to Tyranitar. It might have... I think this thing carries Focus Blast. Not expecting it to go for that at this point. It's going to get the Mole Breaker. It's going to go for Power Gem. Not even bad. Uh, we are going to click the Mega Evolution. What's his team not going to want to come in and see? Now, what's the speed on this? 207. Oh we're, oh, we're much faster than that. Nothing on his team really wants to come into a, a Stone Edge. Except for his Cobalion. Oh, that freaking Cobalion is the same thing that got us last time. Let's just go for the Stone Edge. Middle ground play. Fairly safe. If he has a Focus Blast, I don't know that he's going to take a Stone Edge. Guess we'll find out. He stays in. We hit. Does take it. Goes for the T-Bolt. Not, not doing a lot. Now, um, at this point, we are going to... That Stone Edge did a bunch. Oh, to be honest, we probably should have DD'd there. I'm going to go for another Stone Edge. I really thought Cobalion was going to come in there. But it appears as though that was incorrect. Okay, Chief. I understand I'm not too good. And just got just a question, sure. I would appreciate if you picked a move while you were asking questions. I mean, Stone Edge is still going to just knock on whatever he brings in. Cobalion is going to do the least amount of damage too because obviously resisted. Maybe afterwards. I'd like to finish this match now.
Okay, he's gonna bring in the Cabalion. We're gonna miss there. Okay, he could just Volt Switch here. If he's got it. We're gonna go into 50 Crisps, though. Gonna set up Stealth Rocks. Okay, this thing probably has a slow Volt turn on it. Nothing on his team resists the burn. So we are just gonna go ahead and throw out the Will-O-Wisp here. Right, this thing can do nothing to us, even with the Volt turn. It's not going to do much. And residual damage from Sandstorm and the Burn. Well, Sandstorm's going to end this turn, so it isn't going to matter. But damage from Burn is going to be good on anything that he brings in. I would expect to see, um, yeah, that thing come in here. And of course we miss. Of course we miss. Why the heck wouldn't we? Now, what, what's this thing going to do to us? Not much. I mean, it could Hyper Voice, and that's a problem for my team, but we're going to outspeed this, and Iron Head's almost a guaranteed hit. Um, let's see. Let's just gauge what kind of investment this guy has. This should do very little if he's specially defensive. Should do very little regardless. So let's see what he wants to do. Okay. Could protect here. That does very little. He's gonna wish pass. Um. He's got leftovers. Is this my Colberberry set? Oh, I need to stop playing competitive with Colberberry. He's gonna baton pass, and that's fine. We're just gonna burn whatever's gonna come in. Mold Breaker goes off. We're gonna burn this. He's gonna pass a wish to himself. Whoop de doo. Not exactly worried about that. What do we see from this thing? What do you use on Titar? He used something. The first turn he used something different. What was it? Sun Edge Thunderbolt. Power Gem. Okay, we're gonna go into Jabbo here. Because Jabbo is not scared of T bolts from this thing in the slightest. And uh, we need to get up our own rocks. Because, I mean, it looks like Starmie's his rapid spinner, but I don't think Starmie's going to want to come in on two our Celebizzle. So let's see what we got going. So he's obviously just going to go in for the. going to double switch here, go into Mew 1. This thing U-turns, that'd be really bad. That'd probably be his best move overall. Because we can take any one hit. Let's set up Stealth Rocks. If he U-turns out, good for him. I'm gonna Fire Blast, okay. And he's gonna get the burn. We couldn't get a Willow, but he's gonna get the burn on a Fire Blast. Okay. Okay. Not even mad. Now... Celebi set up rocks. He could defog here. I'm gonna guess that um, Starmies is Rapid Spinner, though. Let's see if he over-predicts and goes for something other than Fire Blast. He doesn't. He's gonna hit two. We couldn't hit two will of us but he's gonna hit two of those. Okay. I see how this is gonna be. Now, what do we want to do here? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. <sighs> Things can outspeed us. Um... What do we want to go into here? Let's go into 50 crisps. We really wish we had leftovers right now. But we are just going to drop the willow. It's going to volt switch. Again, if I had leftovers, it would be so much nicer. What's he going to want to go into against this? 
probably freaking... Yep. Okay. Okay. Not even mad. So this time, we're going to go out to Mr. T. Mr. T will outrun this thing all day long. And if he pulls the double here, good for him. This is why I never bring my GBA team against competitive matches. <sighs> Saying so, if you want shots, this we're just going to bring out Exadrill and sweep. Sounds good to me. Even though uh, his team probably isn't going to get one shot. Let's we'll wait and see. Okay, pick your move, brother. Come on, bud. Pick your move. I don't want to be here all day. Thank you. He's gonna Dragon Pulse. Not even worried. Say so we are going to set up Dragon Dance's turn. If he stays in and attacks, good for him. In all honesty, he should go out into Cobalion, which he does do. We're gonna set up the Dragon Dance here. And that's going to be bueno for us. We're going to go for the Fire Punch. I really don't... If it's this thing's scarfed, I'm going to crap my pants. That is a huge amount of damage. He's going to Sacred Sword here. And that is going to leave it open for Blister to come in and just destroy a few things. Now, he could... The smart thing for him to do here is to switch out... and go into his Staraptor. The sad thing is I don't think... Ironhead might take him out at this range, but I think he's bulky so it might not. Let's Earthquake, see what he's gonna do. He is gonna play it smart going to Staraptor. Good for him, I should've went for the Ironhead. Um, at this range, a Rock Slide should KO. He could be Scarfed, and that would suck a lot. If he's Scarfed, he's not, and we are going to take him out with that Rock Slide, so bueno. And that's the end of the sand. So, what's he going to bring into this? Um, Sarmi would be a really good option for him. Not going to lie. Okay. That was a mistake. We'll edit that out. So what's he going to want to bring in here? Now he should bring in Starmie. Because the sand is gone. And I mean, he, a Scald has to kill me. There we go. Now if he has Shadow Ball, GG. We are Water Absorb. Can he risk to go, not go for the Scald here? And I don't think he can. So we're going to go back out to Jellicent. Goes for the Hydro Pump. We're going to get a huge amount of our HP back. Now for him, I'm going to say it would make the most sense to switch out. We're just going to set up a recover here. If he's carrying the Shadow Ball, GG. Okay, he isn't. Bueno. We're going to get that recover off, and that's super good for us. Now... I just want to Scald, because I don't want him to Baton Pass, expecting the Willow, because he did do that before. We're going to get a crit. That's funny. So he's going to Wish here. Wow. Now... The best play for him is to go into Cabalion, which he doesn't do. What was it a speed tie? 
Wow. Wow. That's just... That's super crappy. Okay. Okay, no problem. Not a problem. So, we are just going to stay in here and go for the hex. Yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to go for the hex. Get turnt, son. I wonder if this thing's scarfed. Or specs. <laughs> but we're... <laughs> We're just gonna go for the hex again. I can't believe that did so much damage. Jellicent, putting in the finest of work. I mean, he could have energy ball, he could have T-Bolt. Unless he specs, I don't think that'll one-shot us. We're max HP with some decent investment. <sighs> Nothing on his team resists the shadow. Right, he's gonna make the best play, go into Cabalion. Hex is gonna two-shot this thing. And, I mean, we're just going to keep going for Hex. I mean, what's he got for us? He could Volt Switch, but that's not going to help him in the long run. Because he doesn't have anything to switch into this. I mean, he could bring... What's its bucket back out? Um, Sylveon. And, I mean, that would be a decent play, but Hex is going to be hitting it pretty hard. He's got Iron Headus. You going to try and flinch me, son? No bueno. That was no bueno. Um, and that's n really not good for him, because that was... Provided he has m minimum speed investment, his answer to freaking Mole Man. Okay. So I really think that we can take a T Bolt. And we're going to go for X. We outspeed it. Thunderbolt did quite a bit. How much damage did that do? 78%. So we are going to have to go for Hex here to finish this off. I honestly can't believe that Jellicent put in that much work. That's just insane. So he's been wish passing with his Sylveon, but he hasn't been setting up the Heal Bell. So does he have Protect and Hyper Voice? Dang, Jellicent, you are a beast. A sexy, sexy beast. So Jellison's going to take that down. I mean, to be honest, if he has decent move coverage on his Mew, that's his best option here. I don't really have a safe switch in at this point. Um, yeah, I don't. So I just wanna I just wanna stay and go for the hex. See if maybe he's gonna try some shenanigans. I really don't know what he'd do. Uh, we've only seen Fire Blast on his set. I don't remember if he had leftovers. And I really don't feel like scrolling. So let's see. What's he gonna do here? probably trying to figure out what he can and can't kill us with if we switch something in is going to be my guess so let's see what he wants to do he's gonna volt switch here perfectly fine we'll get the initiative <laughs> oh we did see volt switch before so he has volt switch and fire blast um, if he has Psychic, that's really going to hinder Machamp, <laughs> to say the least. But, um, this is obviously made to be a pivot. Out comes Starmie. And it's a leftover set, which makes me think it's not going to be max speed. 321. So I think we're going to go into Uzair here and just drop a T-Bolt. Because that's just going to hit anything that comes in. And if this is bulky max speed, I will cry. It's going to Ice Beam. Not going to be enough to take us out. Nice. That is nice. Unfortunately, we're going to die to Life Orb. Oh, this is oh, this is why I always put my leftovers on stuff. Always, always, always. Always. 
Okay, sorry for a brief delay there. Had a phone call that could not be avoided. Now, ah. Uh... Going to Blister. Now, is this thing... We're not max speed, we're 263. If he's mi mid speed range... Just go for the Iron Head. He's gonna Fire Blast, and that's gonna take us out. F. Okay, so he's not Leftovers. I wonder if he's Expert Belt Sat. That would make sense. He's got the Psychic. I don't think we're going to survive. But let's just... Psychic, yep, that's gonna take us out. So, GG to our friend. We can download replays now, what the heck. So, that was an interesting match from someone who apparently has experience in the draft format and or league format but not I guess not every league drafts the same so this has been the return episode of the Thunderdome I hope everyone enjoyed and I hope Goron go Ron roll uh, you see this and you uh, enjoy it as it will be the return of the Thunderdome the Thunderdome alright guys this is what I'm going to tell we will catch you on the flip side peace